I'm William Stillman, Psychic Medium. I'm here in Gettysburg with um, Ron Kirkwood, who is a Gettysburg historian and author. And I have no idea what the plans are for today. Ron said only to meet at the Walmart in Gettysburg, and then he drove us here. This is being videotaped by Tim McGowan of Tim McGowan Studio in Myerstown, Pennsylvania. And so, Ron, I don't know if you want to add anything about what we're to expect today. I know absolutely nothing about where we are, what we're going to be doing, what your plans are for us today. I have told Ron in the past my knowledge of the Civil War and the Gettysburg Battle is about limited to Gone with the Wind. So uh, we're just going to roll with it and see what we can get. And I'm at your disposal. And I'm looking forward to it because you don't know anything about this place. So this will be good. All right. So Ron and I are going to walk a little ways and I need to say a blessing with him before we do any work today so that we are covered and protected. And then we'll I'll have you show us around, see what's what. Getting this still, Tim? We're good? Alright. So, what he was saying, retreat. Retreat as they're coming. So, there's, it's almost like reversing course. You understand? Okay. I don't know why that would be, but uh, it, it seems very um, catalytic for the people that that happened. Probably 
rusted down along through here? Yes, uh, that's my impression or my interpretation. And uh, we keep going in here. Okay. Uh, so someone is actually has a knife and he's uh, carving a stick. What do you know about that? I don't know that specific instrument, but it certainly makes sense. That was a common thing in the Civil Was it? And after. I also remember um, on the drive here, I was telling you that this morning I had been smelling and seeing a campfire. And I'm wondering if there would have been a campsite in close proximity to yes. this. So that is in keeping with the thought that this was a an area of respite or or rest, and it's in close proximity. Now I'm actually hearing some of these young boys splashing in the water, right? splashing each other. You know, they have to let off some steam. You know, the two instances you said already, the one up there and the one here, those are uh, different instances, different events. Oh, that's curious. Mm -hmm. That's very curious. What what two things are you talking about? The retreat that you mentioned and uh, the retreat are from the bridge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the rest of the campfires here. Campfire here. Okay. Different people, different events, but yeah. Different eras for same same era. Same era, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, we're good then. Uh, so I think that we forget that these were very young men and boys and that they needed to um, have time to be relieved of the extreme tension and and pressure and anxiety that they were feeling. And so there's a little bit of teasing and joking and I'm, I'm hearing someone splashing in the water and uh, you know, they're, they're being boys. <laughs> Let me know if at some point when I can tell you what you're, you're saying. Maybe later I'll tell you what. We can debrief a little bit maybe. Um, I am also smelling uh, meat cooking uh, over the campfire and it smells like rabbit or it might be rabbit if that would make sense mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Someone just said something about buckshot. Would they have carried, he says black gunpowder, would they have carried with them in a horn shaped or a, a leather bag. Um, More like a, a, likely leather. Yes. Thank you. An ammunition of some mm -hmm. sort? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because someone's talking about that right here. There would have been very little at that time, I'm guessing, in the way of photography, but it feels as though someone has with him uh, in a in a hinged frame that would close a picture of his mother. Very possible. That is possible? It's not too early for photography. Okay, so that is a possibility. Do, do you know what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about? It's like a little metal case that opens up. It's not a locket, but it's a little metal case that opens up and there is a picture of this boy's mother. So I'm guessing that he came from a distance then, uh, if, if that oh, were so. Uh, I was just shown Virginia, so I don't know if that's a possibility yeah. for someone to have come up from Virginia. Yeah. So this boy is a distance from his home, and his his mother actually said, take, take this with you, take this with you. Keep going. Now, would there have been a reason for one of their superiors to tell them to quiet down or to quiet, keep quieter when they get a little rambunctious because they don't want to divulge their location. Yes. I'm hearing this particularly at night. Um, things feel a bit uh, stealth at night, to be honest with you, so that there are, um, in, in modern terminology, um, not moles, because that would be someone from within the own encampment, but um, spies. Yes, spies is the word that I want to say. Yes, at, at nighttime, 
Uh, mm -hmm. So these boys were told, like, once the sun starts going down, <laughs> yeah. we need to stop the singing and the laughing and the carrying on. You have to whisper because there are spies in the woods, I'm being told to say. There are spies in the woods. Oh, that is it's impressive. Yeah. Now, I am smelling alcohol also. Uh, and that is, uh, so I have to tell folks watching, Ron and I have previously been out to the Spangler farm, and unfortunately that wasn't videotaped, but it was audio recorded. And I had been smelling, I think the, one of the first things I picked up there was alcohol, the scent of alcohol. Brandy. And, and Ron had said that brandy and whiskey were used uh, for antiseptic purposes and also to um, uh, help to, to numb some of the pain by them consuming it. So in this instance, the alcohol is more recreational. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Sure so that's does. what I'm smelling. Yeah. I can see that happening um, here. And even some of the very young boys were given sips, too. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are spies. And so there's a little bit of paranoia, actually. And that's what the their superiors want. They want them to be on guard. They want them to be on guard. So they actually may have um, inflated it to be a little bit more than it was. Mm -hmm. But it's only because these are, remember I started out by saying these are boys. Mm -hmm. These are boys. Um, and they don't know anything about war. You've actually, I'm not going to tell you which ones, but you've actually touched on both armies so far. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That I wore my long hair. Yep. Someone yelling yelling uh, 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 an alert or yelling and sounding an alarm a, a, a vocal or verbal alarm if that would make sense so it feels as though the enemy is coming i'm being told to say so would there have been an invasion or an infiltration of this space do you know from across the the field or through the through the woods because well, I'm, I'm hearing a shout go up not exactly here but close by with, it, it would have been within sure. earshot, thank sure. you. It would have been within earshot, because I'm yeah. hearing it. Do you actually hear panic or anything like that? Um, I, I, I'm hearing the emotion in the man's voice as he's, he's yelling the call. Uh, it's a call to arms. It's a call to arms. Um, now they would have had uh, a, not many, but maybe a few horses here with them as well, because right. there, someone is leading them down to the stream to bring. I think we talked at the Spangler farm about it being hot as blazes, and so I'm, I'm smelling the horses. I'm smelling the manure from them. Their breath is hot. And I don't know if horses can get ticks or lice, mm -hmm. but um, I, I think that's sort of part of that experience <laughs> that I'm picking up. It got really, really hot starting on, uh, later in the fight. I'm only seeing maybe three or four horses tops. Sure. Not, not many. Mm -hmm. Not many. But the horses would have been reserved for the higher ranking uh, yeah. officials. Yes. Yes. And again, I don't know anything about army, military. I don't know what the ranks are, but the horses were reserved for the men who have a, a, a level of prestige. <laughs> Can you actually see the terrain, like the undergrowth, when you look back in distances like that? Um, no, but it's if you ask me to, I'll give it a shot. Um, I can tell you that it feels much more overgrown than it is now. So it feels as though there would have been, it would have felt more secluded or more um, camouflaged, okay. which is maybe why they selected the spot for some respite. Would now, right up I'm sorry, would there have been a, a tent? Oh, sure. A canvas tent? Lots of set up? No, but here. Sure. 
because I'm seeing, and I think the tents were also reserved for the higher mm -hmm. ranking gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the younger, the younger peons had to sort of tough it out, you know, leaning up against the tree or you know whatever. But um, this is where you're so seeing it. I, I, I'm thinking I'm seeing tents over this way. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Now, um, those, and again, I don't know anything about any of this, but I'm relying upon you. So, there would have been, that's interesting, there's, there's small pieces of furniture in the tent. Sure. Including, this is interesting to me, and I'm anxious to know if you can validate it, Colla a collapsible table. Sure, yes. Yeah. You're kidding. No, they're all of them. Most of the officers use that. So all of the tables would have had legs that could fold up yes. to transport the table. Because what I'm seeing is one of the higher ranking, what, what would be the a general, a general, a colonel, colonel. colonel. They're, they're, uh, they have a map out on the table and they're plotting the, ne the next day's strategy. That's great. Yeah. Isn't that something? You're taking me back in time. It's beautiful, amazing. It is amazing what you're Th seeing. These are gentlemen, the higher ranking officials, these are gentlemen who, they understand some of the boys will be boys business, but they don't brook any nonsense. I mean, when it's time to jump into action, you better be on your marks and you better be, you better be ready to do what they tell you to and move in the direction that they tell you to. Discipline was key. Yes. For sure. This is our end here. Right around. You know, it's interesting how um, a lot of the curse words that we use today were still around then, and you know, go way back in time. But you know, they're using language that you you know hear used today. Probably even the boys. They oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! And they're you know they're teasing us. Jake just farted and you know things like, things like that, you know. Are, are you seeing a lot of guys around here? They're close they're a little closer to the water, I think. But I keep feeling like the invasion or the intrusion is coming from that direction. Generally. Okay. Not exactly, but generally. Ah. Oh. There was also, I'm wondering if that's part of the retreat that I was picking up. There were also circles. I feel like some, they, there was a, uh, a circle. Someone made a circle around them. As they were retreating or before I, they were... I, I don't know. But that was part of the strategy of the other side. Yes. Was to, to identify the encampment and then to surround them. Yeah. Okay. It's up to you if you want to go down to the water or not. I'd love to go down to the water. I don't mind. So, um, someone, one of the boys is throwing up pretty violently. Um, got, I want to say food poisoning. There would have been uh, maybe inedible berries or something mm -hmm. here, nearby here. So um, he's very sick. Yeah. Tim, we're going to pause for a moment and let these folks pass. So I'm, I would be fascinated to know if there were any kinds of. Um, that tree must have been around at the time. I'm thinking. If there were any kinds of berry bushes here that um, one of the younger fellows would have been ignorant about, and I feel like I need to vomit. My stomach's a mess right now. We're a long ways from a place where there would be any kind of medical, significant medical. Uh, medical people traveled with the troops, so there would have been medical people. Here. I don't. 
I'm being told no. <laughs> um, not that could have addressed something, I think, uh, what this boy needs. Maybe they didn't I could be it. wrong. No, what you're saying makes sense. I think. Why? I Why so? You want to? Why does that piece make sense? Because uh, a lot of the medical writers were there to keep the road clear for the troops. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. But for the most part, when we started out, you know, it does feel um, rather serene and, and somewhat peaceful here for the moment. And it feels as though, as I said, this was a place of respite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this was a camp site. Of course. Okay, you don't have that with me. It makes perfect sense because of the pastor. It's kind of a blessing because not everyone who does what I do have have all the clairs. Yeah, a yeah. blessing and a curse in a way, <laughs> but more of a blessing. Well, I'm in control of it, so okay. I'll, I'll I'll turn it on and on off. Yeah, it's good at compartmentalizing it that way. It's possible that there could have been something very small. 
Okay, because I have to tell you, I, and I, so the firearms that uh, some, but not all, of these men carried, some of them had bayonets on the end of them. Not all of them, but some of them, correct? Correct. I just felt run through. Again, in the gut again. I just felt like I got run through the apple then. Could have happened. It's so strange to feel something that you don't have any other point of reference for. You could never imagine you feeling anything. You, you just can't imagine it because it, it's so far removed from anything that you may have experienced. To have another human being holding a weapon with the intent to cause you serious harm, if not to kill you, it's, it's more than just the act. It is the emotion connected to sure. the, the act. Well, your life is on the line. When you but know. feeling the emotion of the other person, it's just overwhelming. And you can actually feel a bayonet go into you right here. I was looking to see if maybe there was a mark. <laughs> that would really be real. That would be a little freaky too. That was be. what I said first of all, but I thought, yeah. that doesn't make sense. They used balloons, uh, gas balloons, to scout and to spy to see where the enemy is. That makes sense. What about kites? Uh, what about kites? Would there have been I some... Would there have been kid, some I don't no, know. No, 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 not a kid. Mm. Some military reason for putting a kite up in the air. You know? Maybe it could have been a signal. Oh, oh, almost like waving a, a yes. white flag, yes. a surrender. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Because the kite signal. that I was seeing yes. is white. Not necessarily waving surrender, but sending messages to your army. Each kite or flag. Now, meant are you something. speculating, or do you know that for sure? No, I know for a fact. that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Because that's it what could, I'm seeing. It could have been part well, the of the first thing. I, the first thing that I said was balloon, and then I thought, Which well, they that, that can't be. <laughs> To send a message, you need a kite. Yeah. Wow. Normally they did this on top of hills, or they did it with horses. You know, guys would ride back and forth right. to deliver the message. It seems like a kite. Wow. Would be, a kite would be more timely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kite would go up pretty high. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. And I'm sure those kites had meaning. I think you're right. Uh, absolutely, they had different. Uh, they were, um, I think they also varied in shape. Probably part of the signal. Shape, color, mm -hmm. uh, design, probably. That's very really fascinating. Those were not manned by boys. Those were manned by, by um, well, where they were directed, the directive came from the higher ranking. Uh, they would have been yeah. manned by guys who were trained for this duty signal duty. That makes perfect sense. 